Guys, it's Fish back with another video, and today I'll be going. I'm going to show you how to make a very cool custom banner for your YouTube page. What you want to go on to is you want to go to your search engine. You want to type up Pixlr. It's a free um, banner maker. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's free. Oh, I know of. It's extremely good. And that's what I use to edit this banner. Really good. And another thing, if you want to go to the link. Down below, there'll be a link to this channel art template. So, this is just like a diagram, what you'll see on your like on your page. So, if you're on a mobile, you'll see that much tablet, you'll see that, and so on. But you want to put all your good, all your information in this box here. You don't want to put that here, and so the tablet and desktop and mobile people can't see it or not there. You want to put it in a darker grey box. So, what you want to do now is go to Pixlr. Go to Playful X and go to Create a New and go to Width and you want to make that 2560 and the height 2440. Bingo and Create. So you got your template there. So what you want to do is with that you want to click right, save it to your files when you've done that, go back to Pixlr, go to image, and go over wherever you stored it. So I have stored mine in my YouTube file in this bit. So you just want to do basically that. Just leave it where it is. Zoom in a bit, bingo. So what you want to do now is add a new layer but you want to put text in so I'm just gonna put, put your I'm just gonna put my YouTube name quickly in here and when you've done that size it down to smaller size and put it dead on in the center there mm. After you've done that, you can change the font in the color, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep it plain and simple. Then you want to go back to images. Mm. Images, yeah. I don't know, it's wrong. I fucked this up. Give up. Hey guys, it's Roche. Hey guys, it's Fish back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom banner, banner for your YouTube page. Alright, if this video really helps you, please drop a like, it will really help. Mm, and let's get into it. So what you want to do is go to your search engine and type Pixlr. It's a free um, online banner maker for you, whatever you make it, like a photo editing thing. It's really good. So what you, want to do, what you want to do is go to create new and with you want to make it 2560 and the height 2440 then after that you want to create that and you've got your first so you got your template there so what you want to do now is go to the link underneath the video in the description and you will come across this thing this is just a template um, to show you where to put your stuff. So you don't want to put your like the special information you need, like your Twitter and your Instagram up here, and your username, like your YouTube name up here. You want to put it in the dark grey box so all platforms will see it. So the dark grey box is better than putting in the tap desktop because if you put it on the desktop, the tablet and the mobile people won't see it. So the best place to put it is the darker grey. For the best device, I'll give you. Alright, so what you want to do is save that to your files. I've already done that, so I'm just going to go back to Pixlr. What you want to do now is go to Image. And go to the file you saved it in. What I saved it into my YouTube um, file. Channel, then open that. 
and zoom a bit if you zoom out. And that will be your template. So what you want to do now is add a new layer. Do you want to add a text layer? Alright, delete this thing and type your YouTube username in. Put it in the middle, looks very really nice. As well, when you're done, you can hide this so it won't come up. Okay, this is just like a template way to pick your stuff. So, what you want to do now is go back to your search and type whatever you want on your bit, your little plat bit. So, you want if you want to put your Instagram, you get you typing your ins like an Instagram logo, or you want to put your Twitter, to Twitch, whatever, just type the logo, save it to your file, then go back to here. Then, what you want to do is add a new no image and a layer add a new layer then no image and what you want to do whatever one you chose I chose Instagram once I'm just gonna know what you want to do put your width and height just to do widths 56 and it will make the height 55 and then you want to zoom in and line this up so it's all mine perfect you want to do the same thing add a new layer and you want to do it to your second one, so you want. So I'm doing Twitch as well. Mm. So same with this, same with this. Just do 56. And that'll be you. Bang on done. Line it up. Perfecto. What you want to do now is go to add a new layer, add text layer. Add a new thing. What you want to put your now in is your Instagram or Twitter. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, whatever you want you chose. To. So I chose my Instagram and my Twitch. So I'm going to put my usernames down. Mm, that's my. So what you do, make this one smaller than your logo one. So you probably make it like a. 2.8 2.8 is a very good one size to do it just line that up close it down a bit so a bit more closer perfect right there but right they will look perfect you can change the color just remember that mm. and then you go to down to that add a new layer and a text layer to do the other one Mm. Here you can change the colour, your font, and change the way you want it. What do you know? Just zoom this, make it smaller. Perfect. So that's all lined. So that's what you want. You can put a like f f a third one if you want under here, underneath your name. It's up to you. And then what you do is whatever theme you chose for your channel or whatever theme you want. So what you do, you type your theme. So I'm going to do Rainbow Six Siege. Right. It's right there. So I'm going to use that. and you have to put it the same size as the TV one what it is that oh it's just a basic so you want to do two five six zero yeah it's ready there perfect do that so after you've done that go to images I'm gonna choose this cool one and what you do, you just save picture as. And save it to your file. When you're done that, you want to go back to Pixlr. Image. And wherever you save your image, put it in. And what you'll do, put it to the top corner. 
and drag this bottom one right down to the bottom. And what you do now is you put, pull this one down to underneath all the writing so see all the there perfect so that's your thing done when you've done that up you save it PNG save it to whatever file you want that's you done and that's basically you, you guys so if you find this very helpful please drop a like a subscribe will be a perfect fit but all that i hope that helps you a lot if it did comment down below it did and i'll catch you in the next one Goodbye.